Okay, y'all, this is my church fit. It's nothing really too special. I mean, you're going to church. But yes, this side look, don't mind a bit. There's my Bible and stuff on there. But yes, guys, I put my hair in like a little bun. I don't got no makeup on. I just do what I had to do. And that's why I'm here here. But I'll see you guys. In church, I'll record a little bit of the sermon. I don't want to record a lot of it. Me, myself, is going to be listening, but I can record a little bit for you guys. And yes, um, <laughs> period. So I'll see you guys later. Or a conclusion about someone based on their behavior. See, we can judge sin, but we cannot judge the intents of a man's heart. Yeah. We can yeah. call sin what it is, yeah. but we can't judge somebody to say that they're no good and they're not this or they're not that because of their behavior. The next is sarcasm. Sarcasm are harsh and cutting and bitter words. Often too point out the deficiencies or the failures of another. Oh, maybe we're not guilty of what they're guilty of, mm -hmm. but oh, if the closets were open, we're guilty yes, of something. Yes, yes. And so harsh and bitter words pointing out people's failures and their deficiencies oh my God. can trip us up. It can open a door to our lives. Negativity. Now, I like the way they laid this out because it, the definition kind of talks about the lack of certain things. So it says lacking constructiveness, helpfulness, lacking optimism, my God, lacking cooperativeness, rewards, lacking results. In the workplace, we're taught don't bring no complaints to the table unless you can bring a solution. Because we're not going to just sit around here talking about what's wrong. That's right. Somebody bring a solution to the table. It may not be the solution that's picked, but at least you're saying, you know what? I see a problem, and this is what I think might help. The person that is negative. They don't provide anything that's constructive.
to, they're just negative. Yeah. They're not trying to help the situation. Number four, criticism. Finding fault or indicating the faults of someone. Mm -hmm. Passing severe judgment. We're going to look at these areas that the Lord pointed out to me. So, the next one is complaining. Well, Expressing pain and grief and resentment and dissatisfaction and uneasiness. Now, you know what? Everybody needs somebody to talk to sometimes. And to think that we don't is unreasonable. Right. But when we take on the character of there's nothing good that can come out, nothing positive that can come out of our mouths except and then I like what it says, it's expressing, just expressing. So it's not even looking for a solution. It's just expressing the grief, the pain. Well, come on, we can have some, um, set you up for a counseling session and, and we can get some healing around that. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wanting to do that. I just want to express. See, uh, if you can just give me the space to express the grief and the resentment. And then the last is gossip. Idle talk mm -hmm. about the affairs of others. Yes. Rumors about their personal or private affairs. Mm -hmm. And I like this, it has no real worth mm -hmm. or is of no importance. Mm -hmm. That's a clue now, am I gossiping or am I, okay, is there any worth in what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Is there any truth in what you're saying? And so these can be like cuffs. They can be like the zip ties that render us defenseless against the enemy. There are times in our lives when Satan is running havoc. And we're wondering why. We're going down the checklist. Well, I attend church regularly. I give regularly. I work down there at the food bank and I do this and I do that, mm -hmm. never thinking about the damage that the tongue Lord, can cause. Mercy. Like the gates of Jerusalem and the gates at the temple, these can be opened, unguarded gateways, giving the enemy access to our lives. Mm -hmm. I'm back from church and it was so good. The message was really, really good. And I'm really, really hungry. So I'm going to, I got chicken tacos. Period. Let me see. And this is, this is going to be a church vlog. So even if you don't go to church, you know, I hope that you still listen to this message because it was a really good message, even for people that don't go to church like we are all God's children at the end of the day at the end of the day so hold on mm. damn little lady you so can't put it away <laughs> That one TikTok. So, the message of today was the things we say out of our mouths let the enemy in. That's 100% true. Because the devil, this is the thing about the devil, he can't read our minds. He can put negative and bad thoughts into our mind, but he cannot read our minds. So, unless we say it, then he has something to attack, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna be reading out from Luke 6, 43 through 45. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. 
then Jesus gives us, he gives us common sense. A rotten tree wouldn't have a perfectly red, fresh, ripe apple hanging off of it. And a good tree, a newly planted tree, wouldn't have an old, rotten apple hanging from it. It's a new tree. It's a good tree. People do not pick up figs from thorn bushes or grapes from brayers. If you don't know what brayers is, here it is right here. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. That's something really deep to think about. So whatever I say out of my mouth, I feel it in my heart. And you know, as us humans, as us people, we try to convince, oh, I really didn't mean that. I really didn't, but you said it and it was in your heart. You know, and you can repent for what you say. You can apologize for what you say because none of us are perfect. We're not going to say all the perfect things all the time because trust me, I don't. But a good man will say what is in his heart. And out comes good things from the heart. And an evil man will say what comes from his heart. And he has an evil heart. So he's going to say whatever comes from his heart. And he say, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of so that was just a great great message just to spread love just spread love just spread love even if you don't feel like it spread love because then you're going to train your heart if you have a heart that talks about everybody if you have a heart that holds grudges against everybody train your heart to become more like god train it even if you don't want to say it you look nice today even if you don't want to say it, how are you Ask how people are doing. Even if you can't do nothing about it. Even if they're doing good, they'll think, well, she still asks. He still asks. You know? So let's just let's be, like, more kind to people. You know? And not saying hurtful things all the time. And malicious things all the time. And gossiping. Because I got that bad. But yes, guys. That is the end of my church vlog. Um, I hope you guys really, really, really listen to it. Cause I'm not going to tell you anything bad. I'm not going to tell you anything that would destroy your life. Trust me. Just train your heart how to be good. Train your heart to know how to love. So what comes out of your mouth is love. And trust me, people will try you. You just got to. It's so hard. But it's worth it. People will try you. People will try you very badly. And you have to remember what would God do in this? This is what saves me from saying, like, what would Jesus say? He would, mm, or he would give them kind words back. You either, mm, or you give kind words back. If you don't want to give kind words back, then, mm, trust me. Trust me, it's been hard for me. But, guys, I hope you took something very, very important from this video. Don't forget to give your lives to Christ and he loves you and he died for you. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next video.